then no no but mao and the 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 compound of which is to to influence the judicial processes here mm. in Mbarara. yes in the case exactly. of uh, Ishanga, Francis Ishanga. Ishanga. Mm. you see when uh, the deputy registrar issues a temporary injunction mm. it is not for courts to to enforce it the, the police is there okay. as to what happens in the enforcement of the order it should not be a ground for the principal judge of all people to to write to the senior resident judge trying to I interested to, to myself I interested myself the, the I interested judge. myself in that matter yes. but I think uh, the honorable Mao guided and they said it was a matter of seeking the intervention of the principal judge to pay attention to anomalies that had been captured no, on the law there's no court. anomaly there welcome what what should well, be done uh, let's, is the IGP. Uh, no 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 what no, should no, be we done are, is the IGP we, to make sure that the status quo is restored as per the, the case of Mr um, Ishanga will not be the topic of discussion oh, this fine. morning. Uh, good morning, Honorable Jerem Chan. Welcome to the big set. Good morning, Mr. Yes. Wanyan. G and dear listeners. Good morning, members of the crew. I'm happy to be here. I was held up a little bit because, yes. you know, the road from my house to here is so bad. I fell in a ditch and got a puncture. Uh, th that's why I delayed, but I'm happy that... I, I am calling upon the authorities to do the needful. All right. Welcome Thank to the big so seat. Yeah. Welcome to the big seat, Honorable Jolly Mitchell. Let's stop for a break when we come back into our talk of discussion. Good morning. FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. Welcome back to Western Uganda's biggest radio station, 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music. Great friends. Good morning. We are right here on Plot 12 Motilane, and I want to appreciate you, all those that are part of the show. Uh, you'll be able to later on call in on 752-912-912 and 780-912-910. My name is Wesige Banyaji, and a happy Easter to every person that is locked in. And welcoming in a very special way the people that are coming in Western Uganda to celebrate Easter. With me in studio is Honorable Jody Mujisha, the Deputy President, National Inter Platform Western Uganda. Uh, Mr. Simwe Banjizi Nicholas uh, from Mitoma. And uh, Henry Nwamanya, who is a lawyer. Uh, when the Dust did it. And uh, Honorato Muhanguzi, both advocates. And our topic of discussion this morning is how best can political parties handle internal contradictions we saw a letter uh, by the honorable robert st amchagulani suspending his deputy from the activities of the party but uh the Ampuga we know now did not hesitate to re re respond and reply to that letter where which he literally called uh, obnoxious and cold and grounded and uh, lacked hollow shallow whatever and uh, it, he just despised the letter Let's start with Honorable Jody Mujisha. What is within the NUP that we must know? Are things falling so apart that now 
all that we need is to see a theater of things where a letter will come from one part to another, back and forth. What is it that is failing in the NUP? Responsibility, dear listeners, um, uh, the whole of this week, I, I think even last week, uh, the media has been full of uh, talk about Mpuga, about uh, uh, my president, the right honorable Chagulanyi, or His Excellency, uh, and the whole of uh, National Unity Platform. We, uh, to give you some little bit of background, you will recall that uh, Mpuga, Honorable Mpuga, was our lead of opposition, whom we held with very high regard. Uh, we, we selected him from among the many others, and we appointed him. We sent him to parliament, and he has been lead of opposition. He served a term of two and a half years. Then we, we selected somebody else. We, you know, we are trying to show an example uh, of not people clinging to power. So we gave Honorable Senyonyi, and the Honorable Mpuga, we, we, we decided that he should become a commissioner of parliament. But uh, news came up. You know, news take long. Bad news especially take long to come out. We found out in the process that in 2022, May, that Honorable uh, Mpuga uh, was involved in a corruption scandal. And that he took, together with the other commissioners, they took over 1 billion, 1.3 billion amongst themselves. They shared it. And it is against our values as a party. So we called him. We sat in a meeting. Uh, in a meeting, we told him, you know what? You, you really have let down our values. And we think that you should step aside. You should write to us and explain. And he didn't. After about a week, he shot back, he wrote back a very bad letter mm. and uh, he insinuating that the leadership of NUP is just uh, a family issue. You know, so many things he talked about, I'm sure you guys have been following. Now, he refused to step aside and, uh, and uh, the neck, together with the, the our president, were compelled to, you know, even suspend him from being uh, a deputy president of the central region because a lot has been going on. You know, people mobilizing. Recently, when we were having the Women's Day, uh, you know, someone came and, and threw rotten uh, eggs, you know, in our midst, in the middle, there where we were seated. A lot has been going on, and all of that is being attributed to Honorable Bompuga and his team. So we, we, we thought that he, it was very, very important that he leaves his office. Meanwhile, we continue to investigate and find out what is happening. Now, the letter, with regard to the letter which is saturating, uh, you know, you can imagine... He has no regard for the leadership, if even for the people he represents, because uh, I, I don't think a wise land person, uh, I'm now referring to the councils we have here, mm. a, a wise person, a land person, cannot reply a leader like that, because an individual is not bigger than a party. A party has so many people, it has leadership, it has even supporters across the country. And even if the leader was just a small school head teacher, you, you don't just write back like that one. The level of impudence is just too much. And I am glad that we are showing the world what kind of leader has okay. been masquerading uh, 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 around. Uh, uh, have, you, have you interested yourselves as a party? in the matters that Mpoga is raising because he has alluded to things like the internal processes of the party the composition of NEC where he says it's uh, majorly uh, made of men, young men that uh, have the uh, Chagulanyi's musical background it's uh, not made of formidable people and all the activities of Who NUP. are the formidable people in this country Mr. Banyaji? Mm. Because uh, am I young? I'm a member Absolutely of NEC. Mm. Is uh, Dr. Zedriga Young? Is Joel Senyon Young? We, 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 we are a cross section of people. The musicians, the few who are there, mm. well, they represent that, that industry and there is nothing oh, well, wrong with it. 
Uh, may, why may, do you want to know? May, maybe the and most in any case, why wouldn't? Mm. Uh, no, 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 no. First, wait. I mm. need to ask uh, the honorable on mm. the contents of the letter. This gentleman says you alluded to the fact that you had a meeting with him where he accepted and even went ahead to apologize. Yes, he did, and I but attended then, that meeting. What, is, what more explanation did you want? We wanted it in writing. Right, you are a lawyer, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes. There is a difference between verbal communication mm. and then written, documented communication. We wanted a, a communication in writing. Oh. You know, these are the fears we had. For him to turn around after we had discussed, for him to turn around and say, look, and guys, he was this... right because apparently internally, he does not believe in your systems. And there is then an issue what was he doing of in mischief, the system? He has been mischief there representing and the system for okay. two okay. That and a half level years. That level of dishonesty. Mm. What, what Speak to the microphone. What should be done for Noop to avail mm. us with the minutes of the proceedings of, of that event? What shows that he confessed? Organization goes displaying no, no, no. Minutes, you see, you don't no, just make allegations out of a virtue. The, access mm. to information. The man is saying, I didn't confess. They are saying, we confessed. I mean, you confessed. So there is a, a question as to whether he confessed or not. So in order to, to remove any doubt, you bring those. Because you see, the, 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 the meetings of a party are really not private. This is a public institution. Okay. You are accountable to us. And also, uh, what, and I think over time, I've noted that, uh, you that when there is website, a discussion about the our website, mm. you will download the Honorable Mujisha mm. feels offended. She, no, 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 no. I think no, 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 no. She, she kind of wonders why are people talking about us. <laughs> You see, when you don't want to be talked about, then you stay in the bedroom. I know. By the no, moment, see, I actually, I, I, I applaud her for choosing to always come exactly. and explain these things. Exactly. Mm. You, you know, see, and when you don't want people... She's about. never shy to expl come and explain. When you don't want people to talk about you, then make sure that your house is then in order. Then give me oh. an opportunity. Okay. Let me bring in Honorato. Mr. Banyaji, before yes. he comes in, yes. I think these members should give me an opportunity to explain. Mm. Because... We had a meeting, and the minutes are on our website. They are in our archives. They are in the office. Now, if you want, there is even, you are a lawyer, aren't you, counsel? Yes. There is even what, access to information act. Mm. Is it a law or whatever it is? Yes. You Let know it. Yeah. Now, go and, and, and ask for those minutes. Oh, you okay. access them. There is nothing uh, tied about it. Th th thank you. Uh, let, let's really let's really allow uh, uh, Honorato. You see, actually, no, no, no. no. It's also important mm. for to... to to explain to the people of Uganda who are the members of NEC because see, these people don't uh, represent the family of Webwine, they represent us. K okay, uh, yeah, 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 let's so allow so Narato. According to Madame, you, be yes, before uh, Narato comes on, yes. I'd like Council uh, uh, Wenge yes. to tell us who are the members of National Executive <laughs> Committee <laughs> of NEC because he seems to have them in his no, mind no, no, and no, can he can he say the names and I confirm that, uh, speak to the microphone boy. I am no mm. we so can't hear you uh, then there's mm. something wrong with the mic you're okay speak right <laughs> See, the speaker or the, the microphone the, 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 if, for, if the facts of something are within the knowledge of somebody it is that person to give us those facts she's a member of NEC let her provide the list of members of NEC okay, I'll thank come you, with thank the list you. next Saturday yeah, okay thank oh, you yes oh. because Let's I don't know them <laughs> off cap yeah, yeah. Julian Kamagambe here is a member of NEC if you go to Katete eh? of <laughs> thank right you of Julie. thank you yes Honorato mm. Mr. Chief Host mm. of today I would like us to, to discuss the process and the procedure not the tail end mm. Because reducing anything into writing, it is the tail end of the discussion. Yes. I think what NUP, the, uh, NUP as a political party is doing, they are still engaging themselves. So at this time, they can't be compelled to produce written documents when they are still engaging themselves to see what best can come out of the engagement. So comparing Jordan Mujisha to bring minutes bring written uh, evidence uh, and bring it, the list of members of NEC. i think yes, it I is uh, we, we call it speculative we will have speculated the uh, the, the outcomes mm. of the engagement now <clears throat> what uh, madame jode is doing for me 
I'm deep into Catholic Church. Mm. Once you see Catholic Church bringing something written, they must have gone into serious engagement, cooked it, and furnished it. They bring you the last bit of it. So, whatever they are doing, I want to acknowledge that in a democratization of any political organization, such things happen. Actually, Madam Jodem Shahwat is saying it is not of their own making. It, is, it comes from the, the time when they established the, the political organizations in Uganda. Mm. The time of Katube Jeko. You can see how Museveni, President Museveni has been swallowing other political organizations. The, the, the henchmen he has, plan, has been planting in other political establishments. So, what is happening in Noop is not an isolated incident that it is only happening in Noop. Look at what is happening in UPC. Look at what is happening, what is destabilizing FDC. It is the same. Now, the same monster, is the same monster told you at mm. Njakuba Maraho, he stood in Fort Potter and said it, Ngunjakuba Maraho, now he's trying to eat them. So, but, but why would you blame General Museveni <laughs> for eating up the opposition? It doesn't make sense to me. He's, well, he's supposed to dismantle you and that kill you job. and just get rid of you. And then let us die honorably. Now, <laughs> now whatever is <laughs> doing, <laughs> if I mean, yes. whatever we are seeing between, between members of the same organizations is not something that we should just deal dar with. Mm. Now, when you look at the church, Sometimes I fail to, to get the words, uh, proper words to use in an ordinary English. A kagayano. Mm. The kagayano we see in Mpunga trying to kugaya Bob Wine mm. is something we should all comment and not sit on it and say, ah, balwa nebo mbi. Ah, ah. Mm. Let us condemn it. Because even if, as uh, Madame Jode stated, even if he's just a child of 17 years, once elected into an elective position and is your head of department, you have to respect. Mm. Because once you don't respect your leader, then next time you will not be even respected by your own family. I don't know whether Mpunga ha has sons and daughters. Surely he does. Mm. Uh, if he does, he's showing that, uh, that arrogance, mm. blatant arrogance, disrespe uh, disrespecting his own leader. What is he teaching his own sons and daughters? But if I may intervene, eh? mm -hmm. how has he disrespected him? He is the language in the wording okay. in his letters yes. is clearly yes. uh, uh, no, no, it what is word, arrogance. What word shows that uh, the man is arrogant? Well, he, he, he despises no, no, them. No, no, no. To, to, is, he, to, is he? I have a response of his. Mm. Actually, the two of them. Mm. Just point out which language is uncouth or is unrepresentative of a deputy president of a party. Responding to, to a letter by his president. Let's have another. After all, he says, purportedly signed. Yes. Purportedly. Members. It's, 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 Members, you yes. are a journalist yes. like me. Mm. We have three words. It is within a defamation. We have slander, libel, mm. and innuendo. Mm. Somebody may not paint a picture of what you are, but he may use the same uh, he may, uh, uh, symbolism. symbolism. Mm. He may misrepresent you the way you speak mm. to vulgarize what you, you yes, try to deliver. Sure, sure. Now, Mr. Wenge, I don't want us to, uh, to go into legalism. Mm. That issue of cross-examination to, uh, to save mm. and get something out of the small thing. The way you speak, the way you the move, aura. Mm. Eh? Mm. the facial expression before you are leader can tell without even uttering a single word. Eh? Mm. 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 And he says the office is. Uh, I and mean, you the, think that the, one the, is the party is under siege. The president huh? is under siege. Can he explain? Can he get up and tell us the captors? If I may come in, can you imagine? <coughs> Purportedly signed by yourself in the latest fashion by the party. Mm. 
latest fashion, fashion. you can imagine mm. another paragraph i appreciate and understand that you are under siege I don't know how to help you and support you. Can you hear that? Can you imagine that? Can so when when you read that same letter, yes, it uh-uh. says that he confessed. Before that, no, 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 answer no, no, to the no, matter. No. Yes, there's no. nothing wrong with Can that. No, no, no. I think now we are going see, to take the range away from you. Using somebody. See, see, the choice of language is as a person wants. You cannot dictate the choice of language I want to use. So I can insult you as long as I as pick on you. As long as I'm not attacking your character, I'm not but attacking your character. But this was indeed an attack on the character see, of the president. When he says, purport to signed by you. you yes, know. because he was not there when when the president of NUP was signing it. So he has okay. no idea. Okay. It, yes. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, 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 let me finalize. Let me finalize. Yeah, let, let, let Honorato when finalize. When you read the paragraph 2 of his purported document, he says, now should we call this Buga's document if now we are going illegal? <laughs> yes. Is it may not mm. be his document. If yes. it's your time. document and signed, I appreciate and sympathize. With you. With you. <laughs> on the current desperate situation. Do you see? He goes off, uh, he goes on and signs off as the commission of parliament, mm-hmm. which we do not dispute. Yes. But he's in, he, that is an exhibition of arrogance. So no, no, no. whether ah, you like it or not, I am, I am, let him, am the, uh, let, let him no. final. No, 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 oh, counsel. Uh, yes. What I would like to tell these people, mm. f- oh, these, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Ugandans, <laughs> <laughs> my dear friends, my dear listeners and the fellow panelists. Yes. Since the establishment of political uh, multi-party dispensation, mm. d- they deprived you of the right to recall anyone whom you have already nominated. nominated. I want to inform Madam Madam Jolim Jolim Jolim. Mm. to inform his president. The time you you nominated Mpuga to be your commission of parliament is the time when you ceased to have powers to recall him. As you know, uh, it is constitutional. Yes, mm. You no longer eh, gets out of your stomach, uh-huh. right? Mm. You yes. no longer have powers to stop him breathing. You mm. no longer. The only role you can do is to feed him. Now it's your child is already out. He's no longer in your womb. So permit him to do whatever he's doing until the end of of his tenure in office. By this issue of uh, Mr. Chagurani recording the. The man, he cannot afford. But but, but also, no it, it now clearly shows that mm. if you've chosen to demote a man mm. from an office of little position, mm. why would you give him a consolation post? It was a waste of time. Yeah, it that was, was a miscalculation on the part of the party. It was a miscalculation because you have uh, you you have able-bodied men and women in mm. parliament who could have. Yes. Taken up that assignment. I'm stopping for a break. When we come back, we shall hear from Henry Nwamanya and uh, Asimwe Bandisi. Good morning. It's tough. It's bold. It's real politics. It's real politics. The Big Seat on 91.2. Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. 17 minutes to the top of the hour on Western Uganda's biggest radio station. 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music. Great friends. Good morning. My name is Wesi Gebanyaji. The Big City is on. It's a very interesting edition of The Big City. We are talking about the Matthias Mpuga letters. How far can it go with the NUP? With me in studio is Honorable Jodem Shah, Mr. Simwe Banjisi, uh, Council Henry Noamanya, Council Buenje, those did it, and uh, lawyer Honorato Mohanguzi. Uh, Henry, you've read this back and forth, and uh, I think we've all condemned, uh, you know, how Mpuga's really gone ahead to despise the party. That one, let's call it for what it is. But wasn't it the mistake of the NUP to even nominate Mpoga to be uh, their representative in the commission? Well, uh, first of all, <coughs> I think it was Professor Morrison Ogenga Latigo who said uh, the politics of Uganda is no longer kind and coherent. Uh, if you're to join the politics at this stage, you have to be aware of the uncertainties and uncertainties that are involved. 
Um, I always tell my colleagues that uh, most Ugandans right now have a disease uh, called uh, misguided sense of self-importance. Matthias Mpuga has been duly warned by this party, the NUP. I'm not an NUP supporter, but there are some structures in the party that work and there are some structures that do not work. Mr. Banya, do you agree with me that last week I told you that these people cannot overthrow this man from the position of the commissioner. But when it comes to the deputy president of the central Uganda, I think the president has powers to remove him. And that's what he did. So if Mpuga is trying to, and, and you know, I pity Mpuga at, at some point. I think he's doing what the Bachiga call Tinduhu Gantarichiri. If they chase you and you have a spear or you have a panga, you have to throw something behind. Mm. And that's what he's doing. But I believe he has already done enough and I think he should just leave this party. It is very important to read between the lines and you see that you no longer wanted here and you can quit. However, in his letter he says he wants to reform this party and I believe according to him, he has ideas that may sort out the mess in the party. If you read that letter very well, he's trying to offer alternatives and he's ready to meet the principal. However, the question is, is Bobby Wine ready and the, and the NEC members, are they ready to meet Mpuga? That is the question. To agree on the reforms that he's seeking, to, to bring the, the, the reforms that he's talking about in that letter, if they are not ready to accept him, if they are not ready to accept his ideas, what next? What next? Adolf Hitler, in his uh, memoir, the main camp, he said, if you to live, if you ought to live, you ought to fight. And if you cannot fight, then you have no right to live. If Mpuga observes very well and reads between the lines, it is high time he agreed that this party is trying to prove a point. NUP is trying to prove a point that in their party... Okay. Yes, Council <coughs> Boyne. Yes, I want to, to submit that, uh, that Honorable Mpuga should not resign his membership or to, re to relinquish his membership in the party. If he really feels he's a NUP member, he should stay in and try to correct those errors which he thinks, in his opinion, are, are there. And, it, and it, he also has a right to contest on, on any position. But, but Council Boyne, and, and, and I want all of us to just love this country enough to <coughs> boldly say that these political parties belong to individuals. I can assure exactly. you. You see, this is not Chama Chama Penduzi. This is not ANC. Yes. This is not yes. uh, uh, the Republican Party. Yes. This party is a brainchild of Robert Sentamu Chaguran. So is the Alliance for National Transformation belonging see, to, see, to, to General see, no, no, you see, you see, The same with the National company, Resistance Movement. You every see, company has, for Puga has a to have the audacity to say, well, there's a problem with this party. Yes. I want to take charge of it yes. and transform it yes. with this kind of, uh, of floral uh, no, no, exhibition no, 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 of arrogance. No, no, no. I think it would be see, looking in, in the mouth of, see, of, of this, this president. man who has read the law and I think internalized it and known that it is in his favor. Mm. He can stay on until 2026 without anyone touching him. That is not our matter of yes. contestation. Yes, there are four. Therefore, even within the, th those internal contradictions, he feels he has an upper hand. If Chagran thinks that he has uh, much support in the party, let the two of them stand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 yes if you think that Impuga is wrong, mm. if, you, if, if you think that Impuga is wrong. So now, uh, should they then, create a poll that no, is no, not no. Uh, eh? uh, structured because no, they no, have no, to no, prove no, a point? No, is no. this a, a game uh, of, no, of no, children? No. no. You see. Council, mm. uh, council Bwenje, National Unity Platform, NUP, is a registered party. Of course, I know it is bound by the law. 
but we have our values we have our mission we have our leadership we have everything that it takes for a political party to exist you are not we are not going to dance to the whims of an individual your honorable mpuga has been deputy president until yesterday yes he had all the I, opportunity see. to look at the internal conflicts or whatever he wants to call it that was not working for him why didn't he I want you to ask him, why didn't he point out some of those anomalies when he still had time? Why bring them now when he no longer even has... He's just a nobody now. See, he's see. just a member. <laughs> like see. any other... There like is, uh, you are. Like so much. Like I'm going to bring you in. So like my wrong. son here, he is in NRM. Mm. He's just here. Can he, can he decide anything? I mean, he uh, had the opportunity and he didn't see. use it. You see, there <laughs> yes. is so much going on wrong mm. in the, uh, the NOP. Actually, right away from the time of, of nominating parliamentary candidates, there were issues of corruption, of buying membership cards, I mean, of, of buying... Uh, of, 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 but of those were allegations. No, there no, is no, a no, seat. No. There, okay. there, there is a seat by, by an, an MP wherein he paid 95 mi actually, 95 M. For him to uh, to access why did the he pay it? Okay. ship. Why did okay. he so, pay so it? When he conclude. Square? No, no, no. You see, as they try to tackle co corruption of Mpuga, they should also try to tackle every kind of corruption within herself. Okay? So but it is not you only see to, the problem to, to with Uganda on one person. Okay. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if yes. it is exemplary leadership, but, uh, it should be an example for all. Thank you. Uh, uh, let me bring in uh, Simon Nicholas. Thank you. Uh, Nicholas uh, uh, should help me yes. to tell the council mm. that the problem with Ugandans is putting two wrongs and trying to make them right. Okay. If there was corruption during elections, should we now fold our hands? You know, it's like somebody was talking about two thieves you come and find a thief stealing in your house and then he says but uh, my neighbor Wenge's house was robbed last night and it's so and so who did and then the other one says oh even so that people can go and round up the whole village two wrongs cannot make a right our stand is against corruption and nobody is taking us away from it a single band you see on, on umpuga reforming uh, nup within Thank you so much, Wesge, and our dear listeners. And honestly speaking, today I'm a little bit disappointed with my land fellow council, <coughs> senior council, Bwenji. Let's call wrong, wrong, let's call evil, evil. What am I trying to say? I might not hold in high esteem whatever could have gone wrong in no prior to this current parliamentary exception. There is a genesis of the rotten parliament. When you have a bigger picture, Mpuga is more or less conspiring with the triple A to exhibit some kind of impunity. Ultimately, we all know... Who whether is triple A? Let the listener understand. Uh, 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 right honorable speaker, Anita okay. Aneta Mong. Okay. We all have to appreciate whether he has been convicted or tried or not. It was an immoral act. When you look at the rate at which public resources are being swindled, embezzled, it's improper for someone to be involved in a meeting to reward himself or herself. We are talking at about 1.7 billion Ugandan shillings, taxpayers' money. Mpuga himself in his constituents, I know there are very many issues that would have been used to. That money would have addressed. They don't have enough health centers, poor road infrastructure, and here we are trying to say Mpuga is right. There is some dishonesty on the side of Mpuga. And we must promote a culture of rating systems work. If he was honest that he really wanted to address the challenges within NUP as a deputy president in NUP, as a person that was empowered to be the leader of opposition, he's now, he has been a, a, a shining star 
in the politics of Uganda because oh, but, but, he uh, was but, given but the, the platform. But the party where you are cut bearer, mm. the National Resistance Movement. Mm. Previously, the same right honorable Amama Mbabazi mm. said he is going to go into the chairmanship of the party and reform the party. Did he reform it? By the way, but, but he was prime minister prior to that. He was minister of, inter, of internal and, sec, of and security. And that's what I was coming yes. to, Vanyaji. Mpoga is making a brander. Why? Mm. Ultimately, if you're not the founding father of a particular party, you're vulnerable to its systems. Look back at what happened with VSJ in regards to his fights with FDC. Mm. The moment he stepped out, someone else was in charge. And he could not influence the party decisions. The Nanda Ramafavis and Engineer Amuriat, they are now in charge. He had to go. So you can't fight them within. When you come to the example you've given 2014, 2015, now Mama and Baba's super minister, de facto president, Sujui, this and that. The moment the party chairman realized this man is too powerful, contesting for this and they even removed the positions that were elective in our party and made them appointees of the chairman. Mm. Same applies to, <coughs> to Noop. Irrespective of some flaws or weaknesses that Bobby Wine could be having. We are all human. To error, it's human. We mm. must start from there. Mm. Mpuga is not right. And if you're genuinely honest with yourself, how do you claim to belong to a cruelest party that made you the shining star that you are? Then you're also cruel and senseless. You're talking about dishonesty. Where have you been to address all this prior to this saga and scandal oh. coming up? So he's literally fighting for survival, fighting for relevance, fighting for his own interest. Let's and at a back. bigger picture, I want every Ugandan out there. Mm. A time has come. Honrato touched on it a little bit. We are entering into an electioneering season. It's high time Ugandan, you held the bull by its horns, vote people of integrity. Okay. Not thieves, thugs, masquerade. Uh, uh, let's link up in the second hour. Good morning. Old, it's real politics. The Big Seat on 91.2. Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. Ha
back. It's a minute past 10 o'clock on Western Uganda's biggest radio station. 91.2 Cruiser FM. Great music. Great friends. Welcome back. My name is Wesi Givanyaji. With me in studio is Honorable Jody Mcha, Mr. Simba Banjazi, uh, lawyers Henry Nwamanya, Bwenja Deus did it, and Honorato Mohanguzi. Our topic of discussion is on the letters within the NUP that one suspended the deputy president of the party for the central region, Honorable Matthias Mpoga, who also represents the party in the commission of parliament, which they asked him politely to resign. Something he's not interested to do as for now. It's not the first time we've seen uh, political parties, especially the big figures in there, going at loggerheads on how things should be done. We remember the scenario of uh, the right Honorable Amam Mbabazi and General Mseveni, and... Uh, uh, Jimmy Akena and Olaro Tunu and and Nobat Mao and the the group of the Elias Rukwago and Betty Numbers and uh, Muhammad Chivumbi and it's not been been innocent in the FDC too. We saw what is happening with Amuriat and 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 VCJ and all that. Honorato Muhanguzi, were we ready for the multi-party dispensation? Actually, we lack political will. Of course, when we are discussing here some of these things, some of our members don't understand. Because for them, they have been in the, in the principles from the books. Some of us who have tested the waters f uh, from political point of view, we know that political organizations in third world countries are influenced by the establishment they established either on religious basis or on individual character. The strength of an individual character. It's not about that whether we, we were read or not. We know our level of literacy in Uganda. We know the level of poverty that is killing our moral fabric. Actually, what is causing a lot of issues and problems in the parliament and the, those political leaders is the level of poverty. Sharing money which you are not meant to, re to receive. They tell you please your moral fabrics has been tainted with an illegality and other immoral trepidude. You say, ah, for me today, I'm so bigger than the president. That's where we go wrong. Mm. We were ready. Actually, the country is ready. But what is killing us is some individuals who think they, they are immortal. Mm. Are you getting my point? I hear you. Some people think they are immortal. They are unattachable. Once I have my two, three degrees, I'm in a parliament, I'm holding a certain position. There are, there are no people who are eh, assessing my performance. Mr. Banyaju, when you are seated on that microphone, mm. you may think you are controlling us. Mm. You may think you are the owner of the radio. Mm. But the listener out there who wants to bring Chirango here, mm. the announcement, who listens to this, who puts Amandabili, two dry cells of Tiger in his Philips radio, mm. to listen to you, is the owner of that microphone. Because once one, two, three, four people report at the station that, please, can you talk about, or can you crack on Banyaji, he has become errant. If you are somebody with enough wisdom, you should go back home, kneel down, pray to God that please can you restore me into my previous glory I used to have when I was still a darling to everyone. Mm. That should be what everyone should cry for. Now, Mr. Mpuga and other members I see around, once one, two, three, four people tell you that, please, kindly, the route you are taking is not right. It's incumbent upon you to go home and ask your wife, my wife, is it true I'm going off track? Then your wife will tell you, if she has sense. If she has sense. Mm. Your kid should also be in a position to tell you, that it went to radio, has a biobe what and either no jumaba and to ninga mabaro be no tiriwa go kwa go kwenda kur. It's not about the whys I hear flying here in on 
on the airwaves. Mm. Uh, why? How? Uh -uh. It's about what other people think is right. What, the moti the, uh, what motivates the political party to move from a step to another and what other people are telling you. Uh, but but, but you I think for me, your own what Mbuga is doing is more of tactical. Because now, one, you will only flourish mm -hmm. as far as your brand is recognizable to be clean and not the same as members of the NRM. Now, if at all you're caught up in what you condemn, Mm. You lose ground and uh, the moral right to even say anything. Uh -uh. What is the uh, what is how how best can he rescue that? It, it, it could be perhaps it, now mm. to make the party seem to be the one in wrong and being unjust in, in on law, everything. Mm. In law, what we, we have what we call striking a compromise. Mm. Striking a compromise, there is no winner. You say, members, I have wronged here. Kindly forgive me, let's move as a team. Mm. Are you getting my point? If Mpuga can eh, swallow his pride and say, members, I have wronged to you and I have wronged to the party. Kindly forgive me, let's strike a compromise and move as a team. They would listen. Supplement. Yes. And that's precisely in my earlier submission what I was emphasizing. There mm. is a lot of dishonesty in Impuga. Because if he was genuinely right now wishing well noop, mm. these things would not be in public gallery. In okay. They would have a baganda bagamba a bio munju bibabia munju tevito torwa. But by the fact that he's trying by all means to show that he's clean and innocent and the problem he's is noop and the principle and how things are being done. These guys need to borrow a reef from but, but general. See, general. But you see, Mpunga, Mpunga is saying, Mpunga is saying no. No. I received money and I, I was entitled to this money yes. by the po position I occupied. Yes. Does the party want to deny me this right? No, if there was an appropriation in parliament, then why, why should why should my own party envy me so much? Westgate and yes. our dear listeners, yes, in clarifying such a, an issue, you don't need to go bare knuckles the way he's doing right now. Yes, let's allow Honor to me finalize. Our, yes, no, no, be, before he finalizes, yes. Mr. Banyaji, I want to inform the listeners mm. that. That is the approach we started, and that's how we wanted him. We ex not wanted, re we expected him to act like that one because mm. we didn't go to the air because person. we saw him as a person of high moral integrity. We thought that he would do actually do that exactly what we are talking about here, but instead, he went, you know, he took up arms. Okay, uh, okay, let me know? finalize. Yes, members, I understand the, the dominant. Uh, number of this crew is lawyers mm. with the lawyers they say everything must be having legal backup he ought to have received this money basing if it's not constitution you go under an act of parliament if but, 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 but appropriation of parliament is done by law uh -huh. there is a bill yes. that is but introduced in parliament that is adopted is in parliament so it is possible that impuga is right benefited out of a bill that was moved what, for what appropriation about the in rules of procedure do rules of procedure permit there was, the if there was no bill that, that nullifies and invalidates his argument i've been on record yes i've been on record that yes. what Puga did was wrong mm. there's no doubt about that uh, th then if you say that okay. is a matter because every yes, other thing that precedes that no no no, no. is irrelevant now, now what noop is suffering with yeah. is the inability to make him lose his membership status in parliament. Okay. And I, now I, I, I there's nothing they can do if mm. the law is as it is. They're okay. going to lament and lament. Okay. Henry, mm. on the element of figures mm. that moved from the UID, moved yeah. into DP, mm. left DP, mm. went into SUBI, FOC, it has gone and on and on. Mm. Some are uh, in, in FDC, some are in NOP. Should we now have to believe that there is a category of people within these political parties that is responsible for the chaos? Yes. You see, um, 
last week I told you about the rules of conmen and one of them is that you wait for the other party to reveal their political opinions then you agree with them it casts to go with the popular vote and where people think there is a, a win mm. these people identify where a loophole is and they identify where they are going to win from and that's where they fall so if you see them in NUP don't think that it is not planned and most of them are calculating their next move that is why some who think that it may not be easy for them to win again they are refusing to leave the party you see Obed Bwanika is going all over uh, talking about NUP and i think he falls in the category where in um, mpuga is absolutely no but, but you called on the party to explain yeah. the statements of the president mm-hmm. to allude that he supports the party is as if the position yes. of the what, party what, is to support what, homosexuality what Obed Wanika is doing mm. is right but like you said like you said like you said mr banyaji these parties belong to individuals that is no doubt about that we, mm. we do not have to to disagree we can only agree to disagree mm. but those parties belong to individuals and once an individual wants a particular thing even if you who you cannot divert their mind from that but on this in oh, fact uh, the, 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 there is information mm. that rec- chagulani recused himself mm. from some of these engagements mm. where his position was known to allow other members of the party to make determination of some of the issues mm. but his reactionary role in the ongoing bro- bro- in, mm. the, in the party yeah. shows that at some point it became a personal issue I think you saw the m- most immediate reaction of that letter that he posted online uh, about suspending Mpuga as the deputy vice president of uh, Central. You remember after realizing that they cannot do anything mm. after realizing that they cannot do anything about the position of the commissioner they said that they have other means of eliminating him from the party. And that is one of the means they they did. And I have agreed with you. I've agreed with NUP that what they did is right legally because that's what the party position says. Okay. The question is: Is Impuga really willing to do what they want? Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, maybe maybe let me ask uh, the honourable Jordan <laughs> Musha. Uh, don't you think the party president has been overzealous on on some of his moves? Perhaps he should step back and assess the situation. Must he? be this action packed on this issue that is the picture you people want to paint about him <laughs> uh, yes because any sane person would do that whether in a position of leadership or not here was this, a, a situation which has taken or here is a situation that has taken over weeks mm. there are, there are, has been several meetings and i need to inform the members that uh, the president does not make individual decisions whatever comes is decided by nick we have had several meetings over this issue but, but, and the, but, but the same president is has gone been, uh, is gone, gone, the, same, the, gone the, the, from the person whom we have murdered whom we have built ourselves uh, uh, the, yes. the, 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 the same president the same president has gone around to say mm. i made him lead of opposition yes. i made him commissioner yes, yes. yes. It's it's a fact. And yes. even G, even god says that. i created you she, i got you out of egypt and now here you are yes by appointing him of opposition that was not a favor mm. he had a duty to appoint it was a, a favor there were many it, people it, it, who and that is wrong if it, it was a favor yes. if it was a favor yes let's hear from when it was yes. a favor yes, yes. yes. let's allow when we debated on it and then he was Protected. real on his side and said let's give him puga because he looks exactly. more decent now the deputy the president of noop is, is conceding back. and confessing that the decisions in noop are not made on merit Yes, and that is bad. What? And that is bad. And that is bad. I conclude that to bring in the case. And so what? No, no. You see, uh, what Noop is 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 undergoing. Hey. Let, let uh, uh, honorable Johnny let's allow let's allow Kaso Benje. Is he? Yes. Follow. Uh, let let Kaso. Uh, yes. Uh, now it. It, it it means that what Impuga is saying that there is an internal rot in the noop is right hey. because if you favor people hey. and and you give them 
positions not on merit but because you want them to to be slaves of yourself yes eh? yes uh, no them, them, them. Yeah. so yeah, i think there is bad decision making in in nop and now but, but this them, man here was a member of the nu yes and thrown yeah. out of the party yes. for breaking rules no so, that's what i wanted to allude to yes now you are bitchy yes. there is literally no difference just a, a, a minute mm. there is literally no difference between the Poga and the council, and council of wenge <laughs> wenge <laughs> was expelled from the party <laughs> for, and he started for in this spring and he started his own party two <coughs> if you're saying if you're no, 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 let me conclude you if you're saying if you're saying yes. if you're saying hey. that the group of decisions made by their principal the president bobby wine are irregular he favors his people how comes when he favored you to appoint europe you never complained why are you complaining when now yeah. after being exposed that's Ca- can uh, can can we are talking about can can i want to give an example starting with an example when we are taught how to make judgments and to sentence people mm. members mr uh, this can help you somewhere somehow mm. when lawyers are trained and taught how to to make judgments and decisions <laughs> Mm. They will tell you that once you get the range, stealing shilling chukumi. I'm sorry to use your your name, but you are my neighbor. Stealing shilling chukumi, 100. You are supposed to sentence him to maximum sentence provided for by the law. Mm. Reason, one, knowledge of the law. Two, ability to work. Three, to know what is doing the effects. Mm. But you can get somebody who has stolen 10 billion from coffers of government mm. and you say now mister I think you got you got access to that money but because the issue of deep pocket principle applies we can sentence you to community service and return the money go in peace now when i compare such decision and argument to the current situation, all the, the facts are turned with Mpunga. Mpunga deserves no mercy. If he was in court and I'm the judge on the bench, I would sentence him to maximum mm. sentence. Mm. Reason, one, is a lawyer. Two, he's a deputy president. Three, he's a distinguished member of the society who knew the reasons and implications of what he was doing. Now, when we are talking about Mpuga, you are not talking about the honorato from Isinjuro. You are talking to a distinguished member of a society at the level of a prime minister. So, he deserves no mercy. We should condemn this man. If it was caught, I would condemn him to maximum. Sentence. sentence to the I lifeline sorry. of the show the telephone calls on seven five two nine one two nine one two one seven eight zero nine one two nine one so let's get to hear from you on what you think about these letters from nup and poga on facebook matthias major is saying to start with they should first identify the source of the contradictions but unfortunately the source are huge sums of money that always comes into the ruling party from the ruling party and there is no way a person can refuse free money that he cannot get from his party therefore opposition is slowly becoming resolved through handouts from nrm uh, the fountain of honor wants to prove himself uh, having uganda without opposition you're in kashaka thank you nwajra david you're saying all political parties should surrender themselves to general Museveni. Uh, Marcel, you're saying they should always stick to one resolution without the members deviating from the uh, positions made. Bamwine Lawrence, you're saying we need to first look at the causes of such contradictions. In the NUP, Poga's Mano scandal was just a spark of how the public, uh, the whole incident situation has been going on within the party. Let's pick some of the calls. The big set. Council? Yes, good morning. Good morning to you, sir. How are you uh, from Katibani Kamwen, the chairman? I'm okay, and it is always a pleasure to recognize me. Mm. And I always appreciate for that. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, Mr. Braga, mm. I would love you to give me a chance. I appreciate for the panels that you have in the uh, Cruise FM uh, Big Seat show. Mm. Because they are all having uh, good issues, 
And uh, about uh, Mpuga's issue and these people of NUP, I think these people, if, if they don't want to return in their Narem government of uh, uh, His Excellency, uh, uh, you will call them again, they are still suffering. Because this man is a gentleman, but what he does, he doesn't actually uh, give him a uh, uh, appreciation. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank, President. Thank, thank, you, so thank you, Moheriza. The big seat. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Sir. I'm doing well. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, okay. You see, when you know your parents to be hard on the very level of others, so you see Mpuga and Aruf to be a huge leader, which is not good. So what she, she was doing is knowing that she is knowing all, so she, she, is like, she is above the roof. So that's the only problem, and which is not okay. All right, thank you. The big set. Hello. Yes, good morning. Good morning, sir, in the big seat. Yes, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Samuel from Tonga, Morocco, and my issue is hmm. these people from NUP, some of them are taking just interest on money rather than working for their political parties to develop them and try to compete with the NRM government. All right. That's all. The big set. Yes, good morning. Good morning. I'm okay, thanks for the for the program. All right. My name is Emhaman Strait from Nyamunyanshi Nisindilo. Mm. I want to inform Council Genji that in English, an affix or a sound can be meaningful than even a word. Mm. Because if you are to refer to the letter which uh, this guy wrote to the president, I want to inform him that uh, I want to give him, by the way, an example. If an HM tells a teacher to go to class and a teacher has it maybe by bringing up a, a sound like wa, that one is that one is even punishable than a, than bringing a word to him. So I call upon the the party group to do whatever it needs. If this man doesn't uh, give a written feedback to them explaining why he he got that money uh, unknowingly, then he must be charged and he must be eliminated from the party. Thank you. All right. Thank you. The big said. Yes, please. Speak a bit louder. Just lost that call. The big said. Hello. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yes, how are you? What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm good. This is Everett from Yakaezo. Hmm. Now to the matter, mm. Honorable Bonfug actually is the most moral person Uganda has ever seen. Because if your president tells you something, if you are loyal to the party, then it's what he should do. He, sh he should resign and remain a man. Right. Thank you. The big set. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Yeah, you are talking to Amanya Godwin calling here from uh, Yakakonimbara district. Mm. Yeah, I want to thank uh, Council Nulato for the views expressed on... on uh, but for me, I'm seeing that the opposition is going down. Come and join they, should, they should now start planning how they can... Honorable Jody is saying, come and join it and resurrect it. I, can, <laughs> I come and resurrect it. Yes. If you see Mr. Mpuga running away from that uh, group, it means he's going to join the NRM, and uh, you see the <laughs> power of Mook is going to slow down. Uh, yeah, you, should, you should be hearing Madame Jody saying, let him go otherwise. He we... went a long time ago, uh, and uh, his group uh, let them go. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me get it's more of... better to know who your enemy is. Okay. Because let me... On Cruise TV, uh, I can see a couple of messages that are coming in. Asingwile Godwin, you're watching from the Antonde Institute of Health Services. To Yasingwa Isaac, 
and uh, you're saying greetings and you're listening in uh Kwesiga arnold uh you're watching from nyachenyi rukunjuri where i come from exactly greetings to the people of nyachenyi rukunjuri there nuwaga nuwajura david all the political parties are captured by general Museveni. he's the controller and the advice the mistakes they're making uh, thank you, uh, Ankunda Becky. You're in uh, Chazanga and Ringo. Thank you for watching, uh, Chris Tweheo. You're in Kaganda School of Nursing and Midwifery. Uh, you're sending greetings all the way from Chitagwenda. Karen Makankore in Ivanda, uh, Juni Clifton. You're watching Mugabe Mahad. I uh, see you. You're watching from uh, Nyakiz and Banet Bengo. Uh, you're saying uh, you're watching from Kampala. I agree, Mpoga is wrong, but I think NUP handled the matter very unprofessionally. Let me get more of uh, the messages here on Facebook. I see real nobats who is saying, I don't know how these lawyers in Boenji and Henry are changing the topic from reality to fantasy. The main topic is Mpoga's issue in corruption and doesn't come out to talk about. Uh, well, thank you. I see you. I strongly support Bobby Wine, uh, showing strong leadership uh, there. Uh, Kampala Gilbert, you're saying I wonder why NUP. Well, thank you. Uh, James Adhire, you're watching from Nadia Kampala. Uh, Warugaba Onesmas, you're saying with Museveni in opposition. And uh, Dick Baguma, Beguma, Begumia, I see you. And Nwamanya Edson, you're saying Poga should accept that he betrayed NUP. Warugaba Onesmas, you're saying with Museveni, there's no... Okay, Ivan Palvov, you're all right. Thank you so much for all that have been a part of the show. Let me get on X. Uh, I have a couple of people that are contributed. Uh, teacher Medad Mugume. You're saying the rate at which principal is taking things is abnormal. He should know that people like Mpuga have been in politics for a long time mm -hmm. and they experienced uh, more than him. Should uh, think twice. And uh, I want to ask Mr. Bandizi and Jody if corruption, if it is corruption, as we may say, they are not condemning the other three NRM commissioners. Uh, Derek, I may public resources. Natkunda Nixon, you're watching all the way from Ishaka and you're saying, I think those issues should have been handled in the disciplinary committee of the party, but not in the media. Uh, Atizuka Jim, you're watching from Ishaka and uh, Brinton, you're watching too. And you're saying uh, uh, Mpuga should be held. Uh, well, thank you, Dr. Tash, uh, Max, and every person that has uh, taken time to contribute to the show and to appreciate you very much. Yes, Council Wendt. It's time to ask the the uh, the the, uh, the, uh, the um, Conrad Bomitsha here. D does NUP have a disciplinary committee? Yes, it does. So, was Conrad Bomitsha subjected to, to that committee? Uh, the, the committee... No, yes or no? The I am not going to. I'm not no. in court. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> was this I, 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 I saw it. Ca I saw it coming. Was this? No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's allow <laughs> it. Because <laughs> there's yes. nobody who can. On the hold. highest level of leadership of the party. Yes. Right. Now there are some members of the disciplinary committee. With the dis uh, there is actually a whole body of the dis uh, we call disciplinary committee. Mm. Now this committee is comprised of different members. Mm. Now we subjected Honorable Bampuga to the highest level of leadership mm. first. We because the committee has this is a deputy president. No, no, no. no you see, and you see, cannot get does a the constitution president. does the constitution of NU provide that a deputy president is not subject no, to the proceedings the of, of the disciplinary committee? Yes. yes or no? You see, no, we must yes have no. a human face. No, no, you see now, you we see are now not going a human to face. stick to legalism. So they that are going, no, that no, no, but, 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 honorable jury, the question you, is so direct. I am not going to. The question is very direct. You see, human issues are not they are not going to be to be dissected by the law here. Man, it is not Maybe it should be it should be me asking Madame yes. Jody. Okay. Mm. Was the me. sanction on Umpoga mm. a result of disciplinary mm. proceedings mm. in the party? 
Yes or no? It's, yes. It's good. Uh, so who made that determination that he's a guilty person? Yes, who? Is it a disciplinary committee or a body constituted on humanitarian grounds? Information. To convict hmm. both. You see now? Okay. So yes. it means yeah, that Impuga was committed by Sato without status. jurisdiction. No, no, no. no. Sure. Yes. Why has it come out to object to the jurisdiction? Why does it come out to object to If you are going yeah. to assess... Information. Let's allow him to conclude. To, to, you to see, assess this legal is, jargon no, 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 no. Uh, Council see, Ranger is bringing up is going to... Let's allow Council Ranger. No, no, no. You see... As a as a NUP member, you cannot hold NRM accountable. It's so you a, can't hold NUP when accountable. When you were, uh, so when you were, but but maybe yes. it should Kansu also be made has been to subjected to that kind of disciplinary committee. Was when you were, no, 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 so no, 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 when he was a member, no, 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 when he was a member of NUP, now he's trying to no 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 because how the question says then okay. how were you suspended Let, no it is the same way you <laughs> were suspended <laughs> that that in no, 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 no. Okay, okay 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 no, 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 no. okay no, 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 no. let's have order the microphones are off the microphones are off uh, let, let's calm down let me allow uh, no 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 uh, uh, no 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 Council Bwenje, Council Bwenje, let, let's move away from that. Honorably, uh, uh, let's move away. Because now, if you're going to go defensive about whether you are subject to disciplinary measures within the party... is to show that I have some some personal vendetta against NUP. I don't have it. You see, the constitution of NUP, uh -uh, the constitution of NUP yes. provides that... No, no, no. The constitution of NUP provides that if you contest as an independent, you cease being a member. Mm-hmm. And I stood as So was that the consequence of yes. your, 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 your yes. exit? Yes. Okay. Yes, and I have not renewed But who is going to believe you? Who is no. going to believe you? The constitution is there. Okay, thank you. Why did you, you? I, 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 let, let me allow him. I'm going to. Yes. Because I, 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 right. I, wanted to okay. I, I wanted to clarify some things more. Yes. I don't totally agree with whatever has been done in NOOP. Mm. But let's go wrong, wrong. And in this case, the particulars of Bobby Wine's letter, it's a suspension. The other day, it's I uh, I, I watched their <coughs> uh, Secretary General, mm. Louis Rwongoya, clarifying the thing, saying we are trying our level best to follow due process. That's why we are saying we are suspending you, appear before the relevant party organs, you clarify issues. If we are satisfied with your explanation, we shall reinstall you. If we are not su su satisfied, then the relevant party but, but, but organs now, the will question, take the, question, the next course of action. Uh, the question, and honestly no, speaking, uh, as someone that strongly believes in rating systems that work, and one of the key things that I've always criticized in my own party, NRIM, we must promote a culture of allowing systems to work and, but, and, but individuals, is saying and he, individuals uh, uh, to be uh, held uh, accountable. Uh, 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 Banjizi, mm. Mpuga is saying I will not be subjected to a process where the membership of some of those committees have openly spoken against already. They're already biased. They're already biased. They have made judgment as, already. As a land fellow, yes. as um, yes. Madam Jore, just a minute, I conclude my submission. Yeah. Mpuga, a former leader of, opposi of opposition in, in Parame, mm. is more or less equivalent to the level of prime minister. Mpuga is not an ordinary Ugandan. Himself, he should follow the due processes to put in whatever he's contesting. But he should not pray to the public gallery, exchanging words that are funny, letters... Why isn't he setting the example? Let's all walk the talk. If you're critiquing your party that is not following due processes, are you yourself following due processes? And that's the reason as to why I'm saying all his actions, there is a lot of dishonesty and a lot of impunity that we should not come here and sugarcoat as if he's right. Okay. If the two of them are wrong, then no, two wrongs won't make one right. So let him be 
different from he, uh, them and do the right things and maybe we shall sympathize with him but we cannot sympathize with him when he's also acting like a masquerade or a mafia okay thank you council council honorat now <clears throat> thank you. i stated it earlier on that we should respect systems to work mm. i have one of my clients who was asking me about why lawyers speak with a low tone I told him that we are meant to address court and court is represented by the magistrate or a judicial officer. Mm. We are not be looked as if we are doing populism. Mm. You want to question somebody and turn to the gallery to see whether the, the spectators are cheering you. <laughs> now, equally the same. When we are dealing with these high-profile officers like the vice president of a certain party, he should run away from populism, seek cheap eh? sympathy and popularity from the, from the border, border cyclists, from those roadside vendors. Ah, ah, that should, that should be one of the things we should fight against. Now, Mr. Mpuga, at his level, he should uh, he should not cry louder like in uh, Rinyankore we we call them Akaruma Bahechi. He should not cry like Akaruma Bahechi, so that he should pull sympathy from the masses. He should allow systems to work. Two, as you've stated, I want to to com uh, to, uh, to to dish out one comment. The Bwenja I studied with four years in a law school. He could not be just like that and leave the systems to go without going to court <laughs> <laughs> you would rather go down with the system uh, yeah. he would rather go up to yeah. the supreme court yes. yes contesting against the decisions the the uh, untenable decisions made by by those so-called people in power mm. so i think he must have done something and was subjected to a due process and exited honorably mm. now equal mpuga should should allow systems to work if he knows that Mr. Banyaji made a comment on radio. Honorato was the one who judged me wrong. He should stand before the committee and say, Honorato Banyaji, kindly choose yourselves because on this day you appeared on this show. You said I'm a criminal. This day you were on a party like uh, party A B C, and you you made your statement that. Uh, I received a bribe so that those members on that committee should choose themselves. He has that capacity. But instead of following the due process, he has resorted to politics of populism. That cannot work. Okay. That should not be given even mm. a single minute in modern politics. I submit. Thank you. Yes, so, yes, so yes I want to, to, to still maintain my stand that, that you see, when Noop was, uh, when Noop wrote to the speaker that we have made a decision to recall okay mm. now now the question should be who made the resolution to recall him so it means that they found him guilty of of misconduct okay so yes or no so the question should be who found him guilty if it is not the disciplinary committee if it is no no no, no. you see they fired him Okay, I so who, who, yeah, who, who found He's him guilty right? of misconduct? Okay, and he works okay. within court. Yes, court speak to the microphone. yes I, I am asking counsel. Yes. He's a lawyer, right? Strange. And he works within uh, the premises of, of he, he's an advocate of the high court. Mm. How do you treat your suspects? When some, I mean, when police get somebody has been suspected of stealing, for example, or even murder, you take do, them do, you, police. do you take them, do you massage their backs and say thank you while we are looking for the, because we got Mpuga. Now we, we are no. the who got process. him? You see, they did you, did you, no, did they, you want they, police no, to arrest never him? Had the Can you explain to that? Him? See, no, no, when no, no. the see, how do you Remember, treat see, they are missing two Sanders things here? Uh, no, 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 they are they are confusing two things him leaving the, the, the office of a parliamentary commissioner mm. and him being suspended from the functions of the deputy president. But this one came as a result of his refusal to step aside. It was an outcome. It was an outcome. It was a question. Yes. So, so, 
what motivated do you leave a manager in his office what when he has a reason oh, okay, because he's guilty of, of what you're yeah, investigating yeah, let, let's get no, no, no. Uh, I I'm aware that, no, no. that to suspend somebody too much is is you. Okay. 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 but this was a final decision it was okay. not okay. a temporary decision so pending which one is temporary according this to you this man so was invited of which he objected or even by who by who by the panel of the president and the president yeah Let's allow Honora to give Mr. us Nyaji, Yes. Sometimes I think some people take things in a principal way. Mm. When we look, when we compare laws, there is comparison of law. We have a law guiding employment. We have somebody dismissal where you have done something grave that do not co call anyone to for constitute eh? for a fair hearing you have vandalized these microphones they don't wait for the manager to keep you inside they mm. first chase you then they subject you to another process oh, okay now in a in a present situation mm. m there is a law a glaring evidence to show that actually parliamentary rules of procedure do not provide for the for that casimo they received mm. why, why do you want mpunga to be subject oh, okay hmm? fred fred freddy ha, osmosis It's bold. It's real politics. The Big Seat on 91.2. Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. 
We are back on the last lap of the show. Thank you so much for holding up all the way from where we started up, where we had. The Big Seed happens every Saturday morning, 9 a.m. to 11. Now, don't worry if I told you are out of Western Uganda because you can be able to watch and listen to the Sean Cruz TV that's on YouTube and also online on www.cruzfm.com forward slash stream. couple of messages that are coming in uh, from uh, everyone that is uh, listening to the show. Mkamat Kwasa Levis, uh, you're thanking us for the show. And so many of you, I see the messages trickling in. We want to appreciate you very much. Now, Amazon Express Supermarket is saying uh, you tired of rushing to the shop uh, during all the hours for daily essentials. Look no further than Amazon Express, your ultimate 24-hour convenience shop located at the ground floor of Amazon Building in Ambara City for all grocery household needs day and night. Whether it's early morning tea or coffee or to kickstart your day, a quick run for liquor and bakery delights, uh, all that is under one roof. A well-stocked uh, supermarket with friendly staff. Uh, shopping has just been more convenient. Now, I uh, need something in a bit of the night. Definitely, you can swing in there. 24-7, it ain't closed. So, don't uh, hesitate uh, to go and visit Amazon Express today and discover the joy of hassle-free shopping day and night. Uh, your one-stop destination for convenience in Barra City. Right there at Amazon building, go and shop and enjoy it. I am going to pick uh, the padding shots because we are literally out of time. Rugogam Ivan, you are listening to the show and every other student of law at uh, Bishop Stewart University. I know the big seat never leaves your radio and i want to appreciate you very well uh so much ivan tabaro you're listening to the big set and uh and so many of you that are catching the show i want to appreciate you uh henry Nwaman, you've been quiet uh listening to all manner of energy uh, <laughs> what's the way forward for the nup what do you advise yes uh, first of all uh, first of all i disagree with the council owner that uh, it was so hot for me uh, I, I, I gave everything I gave everyone a chance to speak of their mind uh, because i've been following what has been taking place in the country uh, there is a saying that uh, when a mosquito bites your testicles, mm. mm-hmm. that's when you realize another way of solving conflicts without using force. <coughs> mm. What do you do? Yes. I, I, I op- upload NUP uh, for trying to stick, or rather sticking to their uh, principles. Mm. However, going forward, I want to advise them that uh, we are hopeless Ugandans looking for a force to join to help us uh, rebellate our country from the hands of what people think the leadership has not led us somewhere. However, we cannot join a caravan that is full of people who are full uh, and practicing Kazen Jama mm. and Brohaha. Let them sit down and settle certain principles. If they've identified mischiefs in their laws and in their constitution, let them sit down and fulfill or patch those gaps and make sure the next decision they make does not cause the chaos it is causing in the country and controversy. Doing that will make them one of the best opposition parties and I believe most people will hang on to them and have faith that they will lead this country somewhere. Thank you so much. A similar one to see your parting shot. Is it tactical? <laughs> Being the staunch NRM sympathizer I am today here alone. You shouldn't be just a sympathizer <laughs> of the NRM. Rather, I put the staunch. Yes. So, Vanyaji, I appreciate my fellow moderators today. Your panelists. Panelists. Yes. And you, the moderator, and our dear listeners. We must always applaud them because we are who we are because of their time. Mm. They sacrifice to be on this bigger show. And honestly speaking, we must we must develop a culture of promoting systems and letting them work. Mm. And we must believe and know that two wrongs don't make one right. You cannot address a wrong with another wrong or evil act. As I conclude, 
in a special way i would once again congratulate general mohoz kinerugaba upon his new assignment appointment to be in charge maybe of maybe our in armed just a forces second. what is it that you want general mk to do differently address the issue of corruption and the misuse of resources in all armed forces mm. that's your opinion it's on record mm. he it's on re- use your time you wait for your chance to, to uh, our time is first spent much as it's first spent it's on record he's so zealous full of enthusiasm when it comes but to But what is fighting. the praise singing about? When I bring let's, a, a, let's you watch here, the all stress. they are doing is praise singing. There is a lady of the office of the National Chair. I, I give them opportunity here, they are praising. What is the problem? It's not we should problem. praise systems, not individuals. But no. I want to thank you very much. Blanders. Yes, uh, Council Bwente. What advised is on Ibompuga that if he knows that he was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that if he knows that the body which which removed him let's allow council bunche what i want to advise the honorable mpuga that if he knows that the body which removed him from the functions of a parliamentary commission in in the eyes of nope did not have jurisdiction to do so then he should oppose that decision because uh nope as a registered party must abide by the constitution of herself and so we cannot respect the decision of no which was made without jurisdiction so i want to, to also to to warn the the president of noop not to be overridden by by emotions not to be reactionary mm. but to make decisions based on empirical evidence okay. and sound reason as opposed to, to conjecture attractive reasoning and and uh, i think and uh, and either making the decisions out of what out of instinct uh, does that repeal now the assertion that it was wrong of Mpoga to no, say 500 no. million now now in the in the court of public opinion it was wrong but we want a court in noop uh uh-uh. to to i want him down. your i'm seeking your opinion on yes. that matter was it right for Mpoga to receive 500 million as a service award as far as i know no court has convicted him this is contradictory. I've been hosting this yes, man on this show. Yes, and he has condemned no, no, no. this year. I'm saying no court has convicted Thank him. Thank you so much, Council Bwente. Yes, those no did it. Yes, yes. Council Honor, at your parting shot. <coughs> you know, when you follow people like Wenge. Now, I'm a lawyer. He's also a lawyer. And uh, the good thing we studied together. The same class for years. Mm. When you go to rules of equity, they say once you are coming for equity, mm. You must come with clean hands. You may go to you may go to, to courts of law or courts of judicature, but once your hands are tainted with the, with the dust, mm. it's very hard for you to seek any remedy. And you may say, "Baba Gura." Sometimes, for us lawyers, we tell you this case you will not win it, and you go there, you lose the case. You don't say "Nkagaba Madebe." Now, Mpunga cannot go to court. Where there is glaring evidence, there is everything. I don't think that will work Thank now. You. Yes. Finally, mm. I want to instill hope in our people. Mm. For me, Mr. Banjo said is the only NRM sympathizer, but I'm a more senior member of NRM mm. because I contested on ROC5 chairmanship. I contested on MP, so I qualified to be a senior member of NRM. Okay. Let's attribute where there is a problem. We speak loudly and condemn it. Thank you, Council. Where there is Bonarato. good, we clap hands. Oi. But the issue, he has praised uh, Mr. Okay, General, General <laughs> Gaba. I want to say this, hey. and I want to say this seriously. V- very f- mm. We have reached at the apex or at the pinnacle of the despotism. Okay, thank you. Madam, Madam Jerem Jusha, your very final uh, uh, remarks of the show. Well, for me, uh, the problem I have now is with the law. I want to call upon Ugandans to look into the affairs of their country objectively. Whether they are from NRM, politicizing every issue is becoming a very big problem to our country. I'm talking about now members of parliament, 
being able to, you know, having law protecting them to decide their salaries, to decide their allowances, mm -hmm. to decide, you know, to, to practically loot this country. So I want to call upon Ugandans to, to start looking at things objectively. Yesterday, we were discussing about uh, the appointment that uh, my son here, Banjizu, was talking about. And I concluded by saying that Ugandans be ready. We are being trapped okay. from top and from down. Thank but you. Thank you. And then we shall be swallowed from the mouth of the father. Thank you, Honorable Jodem Cha. Thank you, Asimo Banjiji. Thank you, Henry Nwamanya. Thank you, Council Bwende Dobbs Didi. Thank you, Council Honorato Mahangusi. My name is Wes Gabanyaji. A happy Easter. We are out of here. Have a fantastic weekend. Good morning. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of this radio station or its management. This radio is regulated by Uganda Communications Commission, UCC.